Welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat. We're going into round three of this M14 draft. I'm shooting for a 3-0, and we're playing Ken Ramen, which is not a kind of ramen that I have experience with. Um, but hopefully we leave him feeling even saltier than he came. Um, he mulligans to six. We'll go ahead and keep ours. We've got a pretty uh, <coughs> greedy deck when it comes to land, so I'm happy keeping a four lander. I want to see something here. I just want to see how quick he was. So he one in eight minutes, one in eight minutes, one in eleven, one in seven. So he could have a pretty good, pretty fast deck. Compared to us, what do we do? One in twelve, seventeen, nineteen, four. We seem a bit slower. Um, but I've just been playing a little bit slower. Part of that is making videos. Oh no, he kept a one-lander. <clears throat> and oh no, we can't really capitalize on that by getting anything except a whole bunch of five drops that even with four lander we can't cast. <clears throat> ah, he hit it. Missed a land drop. I'm not putting any pressure on you. Let's get a trained condor. All right, we need to hit our fifth land, <laughs> and he needs to hit land, land, land. <clears throat> if we don't hit our fifth land here, I'll probably just put a mark on this guy. We do hit our fifth land, though, so I will attack. I'll start getting more flyers. Plummet, there's an Elvish Mystic. It's not a land, but it kind of wants to be a land. <sighs> yes. My flying creature gets flying. <clears throat> and I've got my entire five drop Air Force. The whole thing. Which is pretty crazy. And my three drop Air Force. <laughs> okay. He has green. That doesn't help me very much. Um, I bet he's mono green. Life Bane Zombie is good. Um, Rod of Ruin could be an excellent addition here. I didn't quite see enough that makes me want to change anything at the moment. So we'll keep this the way that it looks now. <clears throat> Tell him I hope his mana goes better. We got another four lander. This time we got a five drop and a six drop. And we'll keep this. He keeps it seven. So I'll probably take it back that I hope his land goes better. But what are we going to do? Yeah. We're going to get the whole five drop air force again, plus the six drop land attacker. <clears throat> All right. Well, oof. There's our four drop. Now we can hit our curve. Alright, at least we got our fifth land. <clears throat> a mystic. Is he mono green? Oh. Our sixth land, okay. Sixth land is good, I don't need any more, thank you very much. <clears throat> it's 
It's probably a mono green scary ramp deck. It's a spore mount. All right. <clears throat> um, let's just see if we can kill him before he kills us. <sighs> so it's a pretty good clock at six damage. He has a plummet, and he definitely brought it in from what we showed him last game. Which, uh, <clears throat> I really think in this format that just main decking plummets is a pretty good move anyway. So let's see, he got up to 5 mana, now that he casts his Spore Mound, is he going to falter on land again? <laughs> Double spore mount. Now I play the land. Haha. <laughs> wow. Saplings all over. And if he swings, I'll take three. He's <clears throat> not gonna swing. Okay. He's got eight. Wow, he can get us pretty quick. Alright, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to get this because unless he does something, it's lethal next turn. <clears throat> As opposed to the Minotaur, who is blockable. So I got 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 damage on board. That he can't block. If he's got something crazy that pumps all his guys, or that, what is that, enlarge? Something else ridiculous, we could be in big trouble. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 16. Let's block. Uh, he's got a plummet me. So there's the plummet. <clears throat> It's eight damage. All right, he can easily have us dead here. Next turn. And a giant spider. All right. <clears throat> so we can't even kill the giant spider. What we can do is leave blockers, sensory deprive something, and then wait for opportunity. <clears throat> or do we sensory deprive and get a minotaur abomination? Leave that as a blocker. And get him to eight and six, four. Let's get him with the one we can get him with. Alright, let's deprive that guy. Let's get something big on the ground. All in all, make his attacks much worse than they would have been. Slow things down a bit. <clears throat> I think he misplayed that plummet. Because he could have gotten me to commit all of my mana in that attack and then plummeted me. Um, and that would have been the better move to respond with that. So, yeah, sorcery speed plummet. <clears throat> it's not great. 
especially in a night shade. But I'm not going to tell him that unless I win. All right, we are blocking. If he has a giant growth, he's going to have to use it. <clears throat> a bunch of wolves. Yeah, six wolves, okay. Corrupt. Corpse holler. Um, those wolves are going to kill us. One, two, three, four, five, six damage. There's some crap I can do about that, is there? <sighs> kill my own Drake. Still don't think it's gonna do it. One, two, three. I can block six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. A corpse holler and a quag sickness. <clears throat> okay. Looks so like I can block four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. I can live a turn, but only if I don't attack. He doesn't have a giant growth. <clears throat> Eight. Those are the two conditions. I can't quite kill him. Um, here comes everybody. All right. And we have to block all of the two twos if we're going to live. Ranger's Guile. Well, that'll do it. <laughs> All right. Just. Scroll Thief. Swamps. All right. Uh, Rod of Ruin is coming in.
think we'll take out school of these. This guy's never going to get through. <clears throat> All right, we'll play first. We got a bad hand. We got a Morgan this. All right, we'll keep this one. We'll see. It's only fair. He won the game where we both had good land. It's only fair if I have a bad land hand. There's a mystic. The mono green beats. Gonna take down the blue black controlish deck. We'll see. I really want to get my rod of ruin out now and start shooting some stuff. Like that guy. <clears throat> He's just a hopped up finned horn elf anyway. Ah, look at that ramp. I'm gonna kill that guy too. You know, that's some rampiness. I don't dig on that. <clears throat> um, chances of him blocking? Pretty slim. Alright, that's ridiculous. <clears throat> that's what that is. That's five mana on turn three. Six mana if he plays a land. No wonder he kept a one lander the first game. He was expecting plenty. A giant spitter. <clears throat> There's an island. <clears throat> Alright, we want a tutor. Why wouldn't we? What do we need from this tutor? I don't know. Let's get some. Quag sickness will kill somebody. God, Mark of the Vampire would be so good on something. Right? A Cursed Spirit can start getting through. Mark of the Vampire could really help keep me alive. But... Let's grab the Rod of Ruin. That's what I wanted, right? Is to start shooting things. <clears throat> A little bit mana intensive, but we're not doing anything else right now. He can steal his mana weft sliver. Let's Grim Return. I'd be happy. Shut down some of his ramp. Probably not before the damage is done, though. <sighs> Seems really expensive for a pinger on a stick. Um, trading, trading, trading. Yeah, we're trading. Wow. That sucks. No. <laughs> Damn you. All right. Uh, 
four damage a turn. It's going to give me pretty quick. All right. Land destruction. You stop that, Ken Ramen. <laughs> Well, he could have destroyed my Rod of Ruin. Alright, that guy sucks too. No! I think he's pretty much got us now. I got greedy. I mean, I probably should have been playing 18 land with this the whole time. But we've been doing pretty well with our land. Up to this point, 6, 7... Yeah, he's got us next turn. Bang. Wow. <clears throat> Boing. Two mystics, two mana weft slivers, and a mono green. It's a pretty sweet build. We have six life. Um, Well, we went 2-1. Uh, this is an improvement. I feel like we could have gone 3-0 if I'd gone a little bit differently. Um, so I don't feel too bad about it. I feel like this was a better M14 draft that I've been doing, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. So uh, this was Bava. Thanks for watching Magic Gathering Strat in this M14 draft, and I'll catch you guys next time.